What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. We are continuing on Mass Effect Legendary Edition with Mass Effect 1. Last episode we completed all our Pharos missions. Today we're going to go tackle uh, Liara Tassoni's mission where we got to pick her up and have her join our crew. I remember the system it's in. I don't remember the star, uh, the star system it's in though. I remember the cluster it's in. Um, and I do know the planet's name. I don't remember where it's at, though. So we're going to have to do a little exploring there, I believe. Because I think if we take a look at our journal entry, it says, Go to Artemis Tau. That's it. So we got to go explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster to find Liara to Sony. We are going to do that, but first... We have to find it. That's the big takeaway here. So we're going to back out of Pharos. Keep going back. We need to go to Artemis Tau, which is way down here. Only two jump points away. But if you look, there's four star systems. I have no idea where her planet is. I know the name of the planet, or at least I'll, I'll know it when I see it. It starts with a T. But I also know... There are planets in here where we can at least survey them, get some, uh, get some materials that way, or find some components of, uh, other missions that we are tackling, or other assignments that we're tackling. And we also, I believe, will pick up some other missions, some other little Commander, assignments as we Alliance go. Command like this right here, here we go. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Admiral Hackett always yeah, gives us some stuff to do. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual <laughs> intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware. No, but it can uh, do what it wants, apparently. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but... Yeah, that just means they want to keep their tech part of the whole. Military. So they can and reuse it at another region. point in time. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defense. You got a rogue VI doing crazy things like that. You probably just want to bomb it. Good luck. Alright, so we're going to take a look at all the planets here. If nothing else, it gives us a, uh, a little codex entry. Also, yeah, see, like scanning these little asteroid belts is always good. Just rolling through here, because you can always find an asteroid that you can survey. And we just got a Prothean data disk. Checking out that one. I don't think there's going to be anything else. I think it's usually just one, Commander, one per belt. Up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. So that looks to be where our mission would go, our little side objective. I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to save that. But I'm going to keep surveying the other planets. Just have to remember that is the planet we need to go to later. We're going to survey this one, see what we can find. We found a gas deposit, all right. I'll check this little asteroid belt out as well, see if I can find anything in here. It's hard to do a complete perfect circle with that thing, but uh, I think as long as you're close, it's not a big deal. Got a rare element surveyed there. So our planet's not in here for Liara. We'll go to our next one. Go to Macedon. Good thing we're not paying for the fuel. Message coming in. 
Patching it through. Commander Shepard. Oh, here's another little side mission. Side activity or side objective. Unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. There we go. So we have somebody else to meet at the Citadel. Give us some more uh more stuff to handle. I'm not gonna land there right now. I have nothing to do on that planet, or nothing I want to do at the moment on that planet. But that is another side activity we can tackle. Got something else here we can scan. Another asteroid. Metallic asteroid. Let's survey that and see what we get out of it. Got some light metal out of that. I don't think there's anything else in this asteroid belt here. Nope, nothing there. Unless I missed it. Nope, there we go. So we'll check this planet, survey that. We got a gas deposit. I believe that's all the planets here, so we're gonna back out. Travel up to Athens. Burn some more fuel while we do it. Got nothing to check out there. Survey at Proteus. Get a nice gas deposit out of that one. Also got this asteroid field here. Surprisingly nothing in this one. I almost always have something, but that's alright. Nothing here. Let's survey this one. Another gas deposit. We got one planet left. We can survey that one. There we go. So nothing there, or at least our planet that we're looking for is not there. Going to Gnosis. Nothing on our first planet. That's not what we're looking for. Nope. Scan this asteroid. Metallic asteroid where we found some heavy metal. I do like a good heavy metal. Theorem, there it is. That's the planet we need. So that's the planet where Liara is. I'm just gonna check out the other planets here before we go in. Check out this asteroid field too, this asteroid belt. Got a carbonaceous asteroid. Recovered a medallion, there we go. We do need those. Check out this planet while I'm passing it by. Nothing there. I'm keep swinging around just in case there's anything else hiding in here. Nope, nothing there. Can't survey this one. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go to Theorem. Or Theorem, however you wanna pronounce it. This is where we're gonna find uh, Liara. Gonna have to land down, fight our way through things. I'm gonna take Rex and Tally with me. Rex has those biotic abilities. Tally is good with the hacking. Both of them will complement my style. And I do believe we have some squad points. And we have some gear too. I should probably check that out. I don't know if I have... Well, I got an Avenger 3. I think I will take that. I'm going to look and see what I have for accessories. Probably go with armor piercing rounds since I know the geth are here. I do like that heat sink still. So, let's see what I can give Rex. I'll give him that one. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, I'll give him that one. Give him some rounds too. Give him radioactive rounds. Why not? That high caliber barrel. Open up Tally's rifle. Give her some phasic rounds. 
give her a heat sink with it as well. So let's see. I don't think I have any good armors yet. Oh, I can't even uh, equip the heavy armor yet. Hang on one second. Let me see if I can fix that. There it is. So now I can pick up heavy armor. First aid is beneficial, but... I want to do that as well. Because I do use that a lot. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I need to upgrade those. I have 31 points for Rex. Wow. We're going to do that. We're going to give him some stasis. We're going to give him some throw. Up that bat Krogan Battlemaster status. He does use shotguns a lot, so I want to upgrade that as well. Allie's got 11 more points. Holy. We're going to upgrade that. That'll work for now. Yeah, that's good. So now if I look here, I should be able to jump into the heavy armor. It's going to be my first armor change. I really do not like that armor the way it looks, but that's all right. This has much better shields, and I do like the look of that, so I'll keep that for now. And I don't think I have any armor for my teammates here, so that's okay. If we look at our journal, though, we go to our assignments. We have uh, all sorts of different little assignments keep us busy. And I'm just going to get rid of these notifications here first. We'll take a look at those later. Right now, we are at Artemis style. We just need to uh, Commander, I'm picking start up some driving. Strange really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. All right, so we got an underground complex. If we look at our map, you can actually see where it's at. Way up here, we got to navigate our way all across this little winding terrain without falling in lava. I mean, that's really not hard uh, with the original Mako controls. With these new controls, I'm not foreseeing any issues whatsoever. This thing actually drives really smooth. I do notice that our little boosters don't work quite as well here. I wonder if that's because this planet is a little heavier. I don't know if that uh, makes a difference now or not. But we're not getting quite the same boost. Um, I also will say, if you look at the planet, this thing looks gorgeous here. Just with the, uh, the lava flows, the little light bloom from the sun, you got the smoke, the ash, you got the little steam smoke pockets pouring out. That is fantastic. That just looks great. I'm interested to see how the other planets look as we go forward. But yeah, you can see we got Geth coming up. So we're gonna we're gonna have to take some of these Geth out just to get where we're going. I feel like I remember there's some some points where you have to get out and you have to like flip some switches to open to open some gates. And we actually have a little Geth drop ship that we can't attack. Drop some armatures here. Take one out, the other one's gonna go down too. There we go. Yeah, run you over while I'm at it, why not? <laughs> drive right over him out of spite. I think those big red indicators on my map are actually like the, uh, the stationary cannons that just shoot rockets at you. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting ready for a fight here. Yeah, there they are. See? Those little cannons. Rocket firing cannons. The heavy turret, as they call them. Well, I avoided one of those. There we go. Avoid the second one. Take you out. I don't know if there's anything I can do here. But you see, there's a whole lot of red dots on the other side.
I'm gonna have to swing up this way. I'm gonna sneak around the backside, take him out. Oh, I'm stuck on a wall. That's why I couldn't move. Wow, and you don't want to run those things over. I'm already getting shot, too, because I got hung up. I will say the Mako's cannons are quite nice for little ground, uh, little ground guys. They go down pretty darn quick, even the destroyers. I also really like the little splash effect from the machine gun that you have going on the uh, the mud or the the ashy dirt. Just kicks it all right up. Oh, there you are. I didn't see you. I was wondering where you went. I also really do like those explosions. Those are really nice. So I believe that's where we're going to go through eventually. For now, I'm going to go do a little exploring. There's no geth out and about, but I know there are some hiding in the little, uh, little walkways we can go through. Hmm. We got a geth over here. Nope, but there is an upgrade kit, so I'm going to get that. There's all these little places to explore where they have the, the crates or the upgrade kits or various containers. Alright, why can't I walk down there? I'm stuck. There we go. That was very strange. I'm gonna sneak in this side and see what I can find. There's definitely a Geth in here. I can see him on my radar. So I'm gonna take him out. And I'm gonna miss and shoot above him for a while first. Got a little storage locker here. Let's see what we can find in there. And of course, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Ooh, it looks like there was something good in there. I'll check that out in a second. We did level up again as well. But I'm not too worried about that. So that one drops this gate here. I don't believe that's the gate we need to go through. Oh, I'm zooming the wrong... I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, that's not the gate we need to go through. The gate we need to go through is in front of the Mako. That one opened the gate behind us in case we want to backtrack for some reason. Which, I mean, I don't. I, I don't see a need to do that. That's where those uh, heavy turrets were that we blew up. I think there are also some crates back here. I'm going to take a peek. Yeah, there we go. We got a couple of crates here. Some good. Something level four. Actually, let me take a look now. Oh, see, there we go. I got my Titan four armor. So I can give that to Garrus. It's actually better than the armor I'm wearing. <laughs> so I got the Liberator, but the shield is just so weak, it's not worth that one. Let me see, did I get anything good for weapons here? Nope. I do have another Avenger 3, though, so I am going to give that to Rex. Let me see, I'll give that to Tally. Actually, let me make sure they're actually using those. Okay, they're switching. She was using her pistol. Not anymore. He was using a shotgun. I'm going to have him use his rifle now. One thing I will say about this game is there is a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking. There's a lot of driving. A lot of doing this when there's not a whole lot of action. It's just the exploration part. Which, I mean, I generally don't mind. just eats up some time. Some might argue unnecessarily. At least you get to see a lot of cool things while you do it. A lot of the work they put into it. There we go. Now we'll open that one. 
Now I will look at my equipment because I think I did get a good rate. No, I didn't. What did I get? Oh, I got a good shotgun. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. Anything good for Rex? Nope, he's good there. I'll give her that one. Let me check out my pistols. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that stinger's mine. I'll give that to Rex. I'll give one to Tally as well. Definitely need a better sniper rifle. I think I'll save that for Garrus. But I will give him one of those. Yeah, and she can have that. There we go. Let me see here. You know what I didn't do is I didn't upgrade these. I'm going to pop a high explosive upgrade on that. I don't have any additional biotic amps. And I don't have any tools for Tally right now. We'll come back to that a little later. I think I only have one more place to explore and then we can get out of here. And I actually don't see any geth in here. I don't see I don't see anything in here. All right. Well, that was pointless. But we do have a locked crate right here, so I'll bust into that. All right. Got a few good things there. Hop in the Mako and get out of here. Some more geth coming up. Yeah, they're already shooting at me. It's a little armature. Missed him with that shot. Wow. How did I miss him there, too? That I couldn't tell you. But I apparently did. Somebody else shooting at me up here. We're going to take that one out. Another armature. These things are quite tough. They're especially brutal if you're on foot. The Mako has a really nice cannon on it. It has a really nice uh, machine gun on it. Takes them down pretty easily. I know in the original game... You actually got more XP if you killed them on foot. But I believe in this game it doesn't matter. Ah, that hit me anyway. I tried to dodge it. There we go. Take them out. Get that XP in that inventory. Yeah, we just launched that dude. I love when that happens. Go down, armature. Oh, that's a Colossus. Not the armature, okay. Colossus are a little stronger. There we go. Got us some Metagel in the meantime. We just gotta keep pushing. You know why we dropped ourselves so far away? I don't know either. Joker definitely could have dropped me a little closer. Would have been better for everybody. But that's all right. Yep, I was shooting a little high on that one. But we got to be getting close here. And I really do love those steam effects they have there. That's really nice. Anything I can steal over here? Doesn't look like it. Thought maybe I could pop out and find a little, little crate and get some loot, but... Uh, 
I guess not. I don't remember if there was some there in the original, but it's a good spot to check out. Just came up with nothing. I don't know why those guys would try to take on a Mako. They ain't gonna do nothing. Mako is one tough little bird. Alright, we got some more of these guys here, though. See, machine gun on this thing is so strong, it just drives their barrier out of the way. Oh, here we go. Yep, so uh, this is where we got to get on foot. Got to fight our way up to the entrance. Oh, yeah, safe content. Thank you. How oh, you know you're getting into a fight in this game. <laughs> Just like that automatic save screen pops up. Four grenades too, so I can always use those. But I'm, I think I'm gonna save them for now. I don't need them with these guys. All right, come on, team. We'll move up here. Oh, I got a sniper up there. I gotta watch out. The sniper got me there. Said I gotta watch out and still got shot. There we go. Target the sniper. Apparently nobody's targeting the sniper. You both target the sniper. I'll take care of this dude. Yeah, because that sniper's going to kill me. There. You're welcome. Some more geth here. There we go. You had a shield and you left. I don't know why you left your shield. Seems kind of like a silly mistake. Yeah, got me with that rocket. It's alright, that's why we got shields. I don't think I have any more geth here. I don't think I have any crates to grab either. Would be nice, but that's alright. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a big old, uh, big old bunch of geth I gotta take out here. Including those little... Jumping bean geth things that we gotta deal with. I don't even remember what those are actually called. I'll have to look at it while I'm shooting them. Ah, the stalker is what they call them. Well, we got that one out. Now well, we got another one. And yeah, my shields are out. Oh, well, we took him out already. There we go. Oh, why are you way up here? Sit down. Another stalker we gotta deal with. Oh, 
Oh crap. There we go, take you out. You know what, I need my sniper rifle. Wow, he took two shots already. There we go, three shots, he's down. Oh, crap. Yeah, that thing's brutal. One, one shot and you're done, and I thought I had cover, but apparently not. <laughs> wow, that was rough. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take care of this guy quick right now without getting in sight of that, uh... I think it's the Colossus that I gotta deal with. There we go. Go back to my assault rifle now. Where did... where are you going? Yeah, it's just running around right now. It was just an armature, not even a Colossus. There we go. Stalker's down. Here it comes. Here it comes. Go hit it with more grenades. get leveled by this thing again keep shooting it guys come on there we go yeah we're gonna take you all out oh there we go last one I think nope there's one more where is he at See him on the radar. Can't hide from me. Send me back in. Well, there we go. We got rid of all the geth. Now we can pop in here. Go find Liara. I feel like this tunnel is unnecessarily long. Do got some geth coming up though. I do like having all these exploding uh, storage containers too, because they can definitely help out. I did use all my grenades, though, on that uh, armature out front, so I don't have any of those to help me out. Oh, I'm sure. Would mean the ruin's pretty old. Being a Prothean ruin, that makes sense. Salt drones. Pretty easy to handle. <laughs> nice little bit of sarcasm, Rex. And our elevator's fried, so that's always nice. Of course, everything's all just demolished down here, so I don't know if that's. Oh, here we go. Somebody help me. Please. Hello, Liara. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. 
I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. Good I job, Liara. Here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Commander Shepard, I'll figure it out. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Alright, so we have to get past the barrier. We're gonna be down here where that marker is. Of course, we got some dudes we gotta fight. Oh, yeah, laser controls. There it is. There's those exploding containers I was telling you about. That'll help you out greatly. Of course, these things are so inaccurate right now. Oh, nice shot. There we go, Rex. Why is Rex using a sniper rifle? Why are they both using sniper rifles? Oh, maybe it was because I had them target the sniper before. That's interesting that they would swap to the sniper rifle, but not swap back. Figured they'd want to swap back, you know? Apparently not. Alright, so we got that crate. I think all we got left to do is run this laser. Oh, here we go. So we need an override sequence. So this is interesting. It's basically a trial and error. And I just happen to remember the sequence. <laughs> it's just basically you hit one button or you hit the, the right button when it's green and if you hit the wrong one in the next sequence you get to start over and you just have to Memorize the sequence. I just happen to remember that one. This little elevator will bring us up. And we should be able to talk to Liara now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't Told you, I'm Commander Shepard. It was easy. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please. Get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my hmm. mother. I don't even... Good I don't know question, why Rex. Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. She'll be helping us out quite a bit, so we're going to use her. Get her to join our team. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. Probably the right. Conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure on the double, Joker. Away. Here we go. He we got eight minutes faster. for Joker to get there. We got to be out of here in eight minutes. Hopefully he'll hurry up. Don't want all this crap caving down on us.
Ah, uh, yes. And then we get, uh, kind of ambushed here. you didn't notice this place is falling apart exhilarating isn't it <laughs> thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us hand the doctor over whatever it is you want you are not getting it from me yeah we're not giving Liara up she'll stay with us thanks not an option Saren wants her and he always gets what he wants well not this time kill them spare the Asari if you can not doesn't matter To heal myself up there. My health dropped quite low. Nice, knocked over two for one right there. We got one get left. Oh, he didn't go down. I thought I took him out. He must have uh, just went down a little and then healed up. Missed him with my grenade. That would have been a nice shot. Those Krogan, when they charge, they can be pretty rough. Alright, let's get going. Hop back on that Normandy. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend nice to Joker. fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. <laughs> I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Yes, they would have. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. Man, not the this one. Finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time and there's the big takeaway. Up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? Yeah, hey, see, you haven't heard of that one, have you? How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just a bunch of random images, even after I got the cipher. The cipher? 
Some Asari mumbo jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked though. The cipher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. What do you have in mind? Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. Let's Worth do it. Shot. Let's try it out and see what happens. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Still a big mess right now. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid, I, I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. It hey, destroyed a couple of them. Point, what'd you see? The beacon on Eden... Remember that scientist I punched out. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. There we I go. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Yeah, I like Setting yelling at the, at the council. Commander. Always patch him through, Joker. I your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my <laughs> job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a Good success. Good point. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Always second guessing me. Like they think they know better. Alright y'all, that is going to do it for this episode. We'll pick up our next mission. Uh, probably actually tackle all the little side objectives in this star system. I think we're going to head back to the Citadel at some point as well. See about little assignments there and take care of some of those. Make sure to like this video, comment down below, tell me what you think, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, I will see you next time. God bless.